lost in the shuffle of all that is Colby Covington. We don't talk enough about just how elite a welterweight this is. Realized the UFC interim welterweight title back in the day, and he's a guy who many people believe on any given Saturday night he can be the top 107 pound fighter. Absolutely, and it's the work ethic. It's the work ethic of Colby Covington that stands out. When I was at Oklahoma State as a coach, I wanted to recruit Colby Covington out of junior college because he was such a phenomenal workhorse. Everybody recognized him from day one. And when you watch him and his approach to his fights, he fights that very same way. He's in your face. He's grabbing you. He's clinching you. He's taking you down. And he'll even stand and strike and throw big shots with you as the fight progresses. Don't mistake the talk for a guy that cannot back you up with action. Colby Covington is a savage. Fear is not a factor for Colby and Chaos Covington. Undisputed UFC welterweight champion Leon Rocky Edwards. Obviously, there weren't many people picking him to beat Kamal Usman at UFC 278. But that fight was scheduled for 25 minutes. He needed all of them. He produced one of the greatest highlights in UFC history. He needed 24 minutes and 30 seconds in order to become the champion. But he never gave up on himself. It seemed as though everything was trending in the wrong direction and he got the job done. Leon Edwards is a phenomenal fighter. He's very well-rounded, and he's real big for the weight yes. class. And you see his physicality come into play in that first round against Kamaru Usman, taking him down and controlling him on the ground. Right. But tonight he has a different challenge. He doesn't have the guy that brings all the accolades. He has a young, hungry lion that's looking to knock him off his throat. And we will see how Leon handles this challenge, but of course increased eyeballs on Leon Edwards given what he was able to accomplish in becoming the man at 170 pounds. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kobe Chaos Covington. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC welterweight champion of the world. Leon Rocky Edwards. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. All right, folks, we're looking live at two of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the game today, Colby Covington chasing that immortality, undisputed greatness against the incumbent, Leon Rocky Edwards. Colby Covington has long lived at the top of his division. Leon Edwards now lives at the very top of the division. He is the champion, and he carries that championship swagger by himself. The guy's a star, and his game is evolving every time you see him in the octagon, and he feels that now he's ready to solve the Colby Covington puzzle. Early connection with the left from the champ. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. And we got a full on bro. These guys said that they were going to point to the study octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Keep moving. Protect your face. All right, nice early head kick for the champ, Leon Edwards. He waited a little bit to throw that weapon against Kamaru back in the day. No hesitation here early in this one. He does a great job of setting this 
his strike up. He doesn't throw it blindly. He's always putting something in front of the high kick that allowed for him to not only become the champion, but knock so many others out on his journey to becoming the best in the world. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, submission defense on full display, though. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Nice shot there by the champ. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of power. Nice defense. Uh, looking inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, a huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you know, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out. That's what they're going to get. All the bracket was beautiful to watch, shot, But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Nice job defensively. Extra perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those. He I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Ooh! Oh! Nice jab by Covington. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Strong hook land. combination there if you are teaching an up-and-coming nice job. beautiful job by Covington to get inside and ultimately to get the take I mean even when he's striking he's always thinking about the takedown I know I have referred to the law of fight on a number of occasions but even in that fight when he did 400 strikes he attempted 20 takedowns right I mean this is a guy that wants to wrestle early and wants to wrestle often Setting up the submission attempt. Oh, that guillotine choke is still. Good job by the champ there. Let's fight back out. Edwards' eye appears to be closing up by the set. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Covington's in half guard. And Edwards trying to make some of these ground strikes count. Pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Edwards. Second round, straight ahead. Beautiful work. Awesome, man. Your strike is looking great. You gotta keep it up. You know he's gonna come in for the takedown. Okay? So just... All right, here we go with the start of our second round. Ready to fight. Leon Edwards. Ready. And that yeah. man, Colby Covington. Really good emphasis on that kick there. Yeah. And blocks the shot there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Trouble here. Whiffs on the straight leg. Covington, this 
strike attempt there is blocked. Now goes to the uppercut. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is very tight. He might get a finish here. Worst position over giving up that submission. He's got to be careful here. Mm, nice. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked, and keeping them in full guard. strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now, he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Edwards. I need you to use that <laughs> Beautiful ground and pound, and that would cut him. Oh, looking for the submission now. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. It looks like he's trying to get this arm triangle. All he's got to do is get to the side, get his chest down to the mat, and he'll get the finish. Oh, working for the submission again. They're both struggling so much to get out of this position. Oh, great submission defense. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? Oh, he's going triangle here. Now it's tight. There it is. Now he's in trouble. He's going to go to sleep. back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, high-level stuff here with the ground and pound by Covington. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds in kind. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. Right there, his opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. 20 seconds, man. He has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Set up a submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. He's up. What submission defense on this play? Well, this is a tough fight on the buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Cutter. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. 
You ready to fight? Ready. Go Here we go, third round of this championship fight. shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Here we go. Let those hands go. Give me a few out there. Edwards gets caught by that straight hand. Quick jab lands there. Great timing on that double leg. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Edwards. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Gotta be very careful there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not a bit. Covington's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, that Von flu joke is tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. He did a great job of blocking that punch. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Under three minutes now to go in the round. John, he needs to get into space so that he doesn't get hit. Oh, looking for the ghillie lock now. Might have the guillotine. Oh, nice jab there by Covington. Effective punch there by Edwards. Two minutes here to go in round three. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Going to try to take his opponent's back here, and he does. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. Covington's able to protect the eye there with that block. Nice job with his fight awareness there to raise the guard. Just out of range with the big right hand. Not let him off the hook like that. Because now he will be... Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. This is tight. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. So that cut Covington's going for a choke here. Towards the map. Oh, you just oh, your pop 
popcorn all over I the broadcast table. Did John, you know I love popcorn. <laughs> All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot and he hurt his opponent very badly. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will. Oh, man, straight punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfectly. Oh, a big right hand. Massive left hand. Edwards is in half goal. There it is, on the bounce. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Massive shot from the top. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, that's a pretty slick reversal right there. Just defensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hand, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. You gotta be careful here. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, the hard ground and pound strike lands, and that has caused some swelling or so, it appears. Come on, bro. Keep those hands up. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Edwards. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Covington's right back to the full mount here. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, he got to the spot. Ground strikes landed. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Big, big strikes continue to land.
Jones. Under a minute to go in round four. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. This is a terrible position. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Covington. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Huge elbow there. What a round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. And blocks the shot there. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Good job putting himself in position. Edwards getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swell. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Arm triangle attempt. He's got to get that elbow going forward. He's got to drop his chest to the mat. Don't squeeze. Let go. Oh, oh, the winner by submission. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission, he squeezed, and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's go inside the octagon now to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 29 seconds of round number five. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kobe Chaos Covington. All right, shout out to the MMA Masters great jiu-jitsu coach Daniel Valverde, his student Kobe Covington, Gets a win by submission tonight. Very surprising victory for Covington, but a very gratifying victory to go out there and submit his opponent in the way that he did. Kobe Covington is still showing that he can win in a multitude of ways inside the UFC octagon.